ऐसा नहीं कि जब पोल्यूशन लेवल बढ़ जाए तब वो गाइडलाइंस बने क्योंकि विद टाइम अगर हर साल ऐसे रहेगा तो विद टाइम तो एक ऐसा डिजीज ये परमानेंट डेवलप हो ही जाएगी ये फरारी जल रही है फैक्ट्रिया अनऑथराइज फैक्ट्रिया चल रही है ये उसका धुआं है आर्टिफिशियल बारिश करवानी चाहिए क्यों नहीं क्यों नहीं कर रहा था The capital of India, New Delhi, once a city of vibrant history and culture, is now suffocating under a toxic cloud. The air, thick with pollutants, is so dangerous that it can take your breath away, quite literally. The air quality index, or in short the AQI, has crossed alarming levels of 500, marked as severe plus. For the seventh consecutive day, the dense smog has enveloped the city, forcing residents indoors with schools and offices shifting to online classes. Delhi's lungs are choking and every breath we take is tainted. The question is, how did we get here? Just a decade ago, Delhi's AQI ranged between 100 to 150, which still indicated pollution but was not as dire as today's level. But as the years passed, the situation worsened dramatically. Today, Delhi's AQI is not just a number, it is a health crisis. The shift started with rapid urbanization, rising vehicular emission, industrial growth and a growing population. But what really tipped the scale was the combination of stubble burning in neighboring state and the cold winter air which traps pollutants closer to the ground. And now, we are at a breaking point. Delhi's air has now been classified as a medical emergency. Health experts are alarmed and public concern is mounting. The Delhi government has been relentless, implementing measures like restricting vehicle movement, imposing grab stage 4 restrictions and even requesting central government interventions. Environment Minister Gopal Rai has been vocal about the situation, urging the centre to approve artificial rain, a possible and only solution to this environmental catastrophe. Now let's understand what is artificial rain or cloud seeding. Well, it is a process that might sound like a science fiction, but could be the key to elevating Delhi's suffocating smog. Cloud seeding is a form of weather modification used to enhance rainfall, which can help clear out the toxic particles in the air. The process involves introducing chemicals like silver iodide, potassium chloride or even dry ice into the clouds, either from aircraft or ground-based generators. These substances act as nuclei for water vapour, encouraging the formation of water droplets that coalesce to form rain. Within about half an hour, the sky could be releasing water and pollutants settle to the ground. The rain clears the air, reducing smog and potentially improving the AQI. But it is not as simple as it sounds. The process requires authorization from several central government agencies, including the Ministry of Defence, DGCA and Airport Authority of India. The Delhi government has already sought approval multiple times, but bureaucratic hurdles remain. Why is cloud seeding so important now? With Delhi's AQI hovering at the 500 mark, traditional methods are simply not enough. The solution needs to be bold, innovative and immediate. Cloud seeding offers hope, helping to mitigate the crisis by reducing pollutants faster than any road cleaning or industrial shutdown could. The process would need to be repeated several times, depending on the severity of the air pollution and should be used as a part of a larger strategy to tackle pollution at its root causes. As Delhi struggles to breathe, time is running out. The people of Delhi cannot wait for another government meeting or endless paperwork. The toxic air is here and it is here to stay unless swift action is taken. Artificial rain might sound like a dream, but it is a dream that must be made into a reality. If cloud seeding works, it could provide a temporary but much needed respite. 
but long term solution drastic changes in policy vehicle management industrial regulation and most importantly tackling the source of crop residue burning must follow delhi's battle against air pollution is no more just an environmental issue it has now become a serious health emergency for the city the city is suffocating and the time is to act now we will wait until the city becomes uninhabitable or we will rise above the smog to take breath of fresh air once again the time will only tell until then keep watching one india for more such updates don't miss out log on to oneindia.com for more updates